I work in Texas. Everything is bigger in Texas, but there's none bigger than this. For us, the SK6000 is our commitment to the future, our commitment to the ambition, and, and with this investment, yeah, we really, uh, we really show that we want to be a part of it. This crane is, is a significant milestone, is the next step in terms of heavy lifting. Pieces of equipment and expertise like this is really, really going to be needed if we are going to uh, arrive in the future that we so desperately need. This crane will go to unlock numerous opportunities, so we will be able to reach higher hub heights and install the biggest and largest turbines. We'll have the longest reach uh, still with the incredible capacity way beyond 1,000 tons. I mean, the, the components are just every four to five years, you have a new generation of nacelles, of blades, of taller tower heights. And that's an ongoing trend that I don't think will stop anytime soon. And that's why, why Mammut keeps on, uh, on investing and, uh, and building bigger and, and stronger equipment. The SK6000 will support nuclear projects because it'll extend the reach and the uh, capacity which we can install on site. This means we can uh, build more in factory type environments and we can deliver larger pieces for installation, speeding up the program on site and ideally getting that carbon neutral energy to the public faster. In the petrochemical, I see applications. We're looking at new fuels, hydrogen, we're looking at ammonia. It allows our customers and the engineering companies to design bigger, heavier, more efficient equipment. And that's what the market will get accustomed to. And that's why they love these things. The SK unlocks uh, larger modular construction because rather than sitting a small crane really close up to the work face, we can sit further back, lifting over the top, with larger components. You can pick up a load from a very far distance and set it down at another far distance. We can now be further away, uh, don't interrupt activities, uh, lift more with a single crane. Building foundations is a very expensive uh, occupation. So when you say, okay, I have a crane in one spot and I can reach your whole unit or half the unit, then I move to the other side and get it done. That's a lot less foundation work than seven or eight spots for a crawler crane. What, what we say in, with cranes, what we find most important in engineering is load moment. If I pick up a bag of apples, you can do that quite easily close to your body. If you try to stretch your arm, there's two things that can happen. You fall over, or your arm cannot carry it anymore. Same with the crane. The crane needs to be stable and needs to be strong enough to set something far away. This crane is both. Uh, it has a lot of counterweight, and has been constructed very strong, and that's why it can set down larger loads at uh, a greater distance than its competition. Credit has to go to our engineering team that have, that have worked to put this together and, and deliver what's uh, it's a fantastic looking machine. Last year was a, a tremendous pressure on the R&D team to deliver on time. Extremely proud that we delivered as expected, in line with requirements, everything coming together, operations, engineering, uh, all the lessons learned from the past. That's yeah, tremendous. Really proud on all the guys and girls, everyone on the team. Yeah, while this might feel like the end of a journey, in reality, this is just the beginning of the future.